Hey guys, welcome to Raw Customs. I'm your host, Patrick Rapola, and on this episode, I'm going to be showing you how I made the grill mesh for the front of my Jeep. Now, I know I have already made one of these, but in that one, I used the mesh and just put it on the back side of the grill, and it turned out really nice. But I've been checking out the ones where they have the mesh on the front side with the frame on it, and I thought that would make a great build. So, I went down to Home Depot's where I got all the supplies, uh, picked up a bag of bolts that I thought would look nice, I used the mesh that I bought from Home Depot the first time and used on the first grill. I had some of that left over or enough of it to use on this grill, so that's what I used. And then I used uh, about two sticks, one eighth thick, an inch and a half inch wide, and four foot long, two strips of those uh, to make the frame. Well, all right, guys, check it out. Let me know what you think. Here's how to do it. To build the frame, I used one and a half inch flat stock by one eighth thick by four feet. I used two strips. The bar was clamped to a car wheel so they could be bent to match the curve on the grill. I held pressure at the end of the bar while hitting the piece with a hammer to achieve the curve. The piece was checked and reformed until the curve fit just right. Then the process repeated for a second bar for the other side of the grill. Next we figured out where we wanted the outside of the frame to set and marked it with tape. Then the bars were marked and cut to length. On the top and bottom bars, 45s are cut on each end to help shape the grill. Next, the pieces are clamped in place, the corners squared, and then welded together. The corner pieces that were cut off the top and bottom bars were clamped to the inside corners and then welded in place. Once the frame was completely welded together, a grinder was used to flatten out the welds. The grinding disc was then changed to a sanding wheel. This will smooth the metal and erase the joints, and the frame will look like one solid piece. Next, the holes for the bolts were measured out and marked. A set punch was used to keep the drill bit in place. Next, pallet holes. 
holes were drilled, and then a step bit was used to enlarge the holes. Next, the frame was set face down and the mesh placed on the back side. The mesh was marked to fit the frame and then cut out using tin cutters. A red pad was used to scuff the mesh and the frame to prep for paint. The frame was given two coats of primer. Then both pieces given two coats of flat black. Next, a star stencil was laid down on the mesh and taped in place, and the rest of the mesh masked off. Next, the star was painted green. It's not on the video, but I did use the airbrush to add a few highlights in the star. The mesh and the frame both were given two coats of flat clear paint to finish the paint job. The bolts that I'm using have raised lettering on the heads, so they were placed in a vise, and a grinder with a sanding wheel was used to smooth the tops out. Next, X's were cut in a box and the bolts pushed through. Then the bolt heads were primered, painted, and cleared. I purchased some light guards that were scuffed and painted as well. Next, the frame was laid in place and lined up. Once the frame was lined up, the bolt holes were marked and punch set, and the grill marked for the area that was to be cut out. A step bit was used to drill out the bolt holes. and a reciprocating saw was used to cut out the center of the grill.
The mesh was laid in place on the back side of the frame. Foam strips with the sticky side were laid down along the edge of the frame. This will help hold the mesh in place and keep the Jeep grill from getting scratched. To finish, the mesh was bolted to the grill and the light guards installed. Once the grill is finished, it was reinstalled onto the Jeep.